Well, a new study is linking heart attacks to a person's ability to think, learn, and remember over time. Researchers from JAMA Neurology analyzed decades worth of data collecting cognitive decline to poor heart health, connecting the two. Now, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, around 800,000 people in the U.S. have a heart attack every year. We'd like to welcome board-certified vascular cardiologist and comprehensive vascular care founder, Dr. Bernard Ashby. Um, Dr. Ashby, thank Thank you so much for being here. So a heart attack can add six to 13 years to your brain's age. That's according to the study's findings. How rapid is that decline after a heart attack? And are there patients who are more susceptible than others? Good morning, Kelly, and it's a pleasure to be here. So these findings are not surprising at all whatsoever to any cardiologist practicing. The main cause of heart attacks is also related to the main cause of strokes. What most people don't realize is that a lot of strokes are not necessarily those big strokes that cause deficits where you can't move your body. You actually can have what we call vascular dementia or micro strokes. So that's just one of many mechanisms where cardiovascular disease can be related to cognitive decline. Well, this affects so many people as we outlined here in the U.S. alone. Um, did this give you any insights into the ways our heart and our brain are connected? Well, it's kind of confirming what most of us already knew, as I alluded to before, but it's an important talking point when we're communicating with our patients to let them know that, you know, it's, it's not just taking care of your heart. So a lot of my patients obviously have cardiovascular disease, heart attacks, or even strokes, but it's also looking at it in a holistic way, because generally speaking, if you have a poor health, you're going to have cognitive decline, you're going to have cardiovascular disease, you're more likely to have things like heart failure, which causes low cardiac output to the brain. And that does lead to further cognitive decline. So just one additional incentive to get our patients to not just focus on taking medications, but focusing on their overall health, eating well, moving their body, and doing the things that allow them to have a, a, a long, long productive life. Would you say those are the that should be the focus in general as a preventative measure for both uh, cognitive decline and any heart problems? Kelly, nothing beats nature. As much as I love science and I love, you know, all of the breakthroughs that we've had in healthcare, you have to go back to the basics. Get some sunshine, avoid the cigarettes, move your body, and, and avoid preserved foods and eat more natural foods. So fruits and vegetables for the win. All right. Great advice. Dr. Bernard Ashby, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.